What's up guys, Robsco here, back with another video, and today we are taking a look at the Comica VS10, another budget shotgun microphone for your DSLRs and mirrorless cameras. This is a $35 microphone, and inside the box you get the microphone as well as a foam pop filter to reduce plosives and minimal wind distortions. The pop filter comes with a circle cutout at the bottom for putting the microphone inside, but I found that the Y structure of the mic made it impossible to fit it in, so I made some incisions with some scissors on the sides like so to make it easier to put on. Moving to the physical properties, it has a very sturdy build because it's made completely out of metal, and the full matte black aesthetic of the microphone also makes it look really nice. On the top, you have your separate audio channels with quality mesh covers on them, and moving down, we have the Comica logo on both sides, and then we have the most prominent feature of this microphone, which is the movable joint. This joint is held on by these two flathead screws that allow the mic to be angled up to 90 degrees in one direction. And since it only moves one way, it is very easy to straighten it back up, which is a good decision by the company. You can tighten and loosen the mobility of the joint with a flathead screwdriver to your liking, but of course a tighter fit is more optimal. And finally, we have the model number tastefully placed at the bottom, and of course we have the 3.5mm plug. And as you can see, it only has two rings, which means it is not compatible with smartphones, and it only works with DSLRs, mirrorless cameras, camcorders, and GoPros, which is really unfortunate considering the design. It's super small and fits in the palm of your hand, so travel with this mic is exceptionally easy. But let's listen to the audio to see if you want to use this for your cameras. So this is the stock microphone recording of the Lumix G9, just to give you guys a little bit of a reference point before we stick on this microphone to see how well the quality is. And this is what it sounds like when the microphone is on the DSLR. So right now we're around two feet away from the microphone itself, from my mouth to the microphone. And as you can hear, the voice is very clear. The bass notes or the low notes are really good. High notes are very clear, which is nice. That's what you want in a microphone, really clean sound. And not to mention that this is a very, very cheap microphone. And right now our settings for the Lumix G9 is auto sensitivity. So if I'm a little louder, it's gonna automatically lower the sensitivity just so it can get to those good mid ranges when it comes to volume. And thanks to the angle of the microphone that's pointed directly to my mouth right here, instead of pointing it all around like an omnidirectional microphone, you get more of the source here and less of the background, which is really good. And now I'm five to six feet away from the microphone and this is exactly what it sounds if you were to film further away than the optimal spot of a vlog. Right here, five or two, six feet away, this is what it sounds like. And just for comparison's sake, right now we are recording with the Comica Micro, which is $10 more expensive than this Comica VS10 right here. But the Comica Micro also has features such as a removable cable, as well as being able to mount onto the cold shoe of your DSLR. I kind of wish that they made this microphone mobile compatible too, because it would have been really nice to have your smartphone and have the microphone like this, and then record like this as a directional microphone. So you get way better audio with your smartphone without the need of any kind of cold shoe mount or whatnot. It's just plug and play, you can angle it however you want, and that would have been nice if it was mobile compatible, but it isn't, so it is kind of limited to your DSLR. Also, I find the design of this microphone a little weird with the separate left and right channels because this only works for a DSLR, and most DSLRs and mirrorless cameras have their microphone ports sideways, so you stick it in this way, and once you turn the microphone, it actually goes like this, so you're recording your left and right channels up and down. And I don't think I've seen any cameras with the microphone port on top or on the bottom, so it just makes more sense that they would have just put it as a single rod for a microphone instead of having these two separate channels, which is really weird. Overall, I think this is a really nifty microphone and is a really good budget microphone if you're looking to get into better audio for your video gear. I really like the joint and how it's able to angle to one direction, so it's more of a directional mic instead of a omnidirectional mic. But overall, not bad, really good budget microphone. If you're interested, links are going to be in the description down below as always. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.